Have you ever looked in the mirror and noticed a slight curve in your spine? It might be scoliosis. Scoliosis is a condition where the spine curves sideways. Imagine a straight line suddenly taking a detour, forming a C or an S shape. That's what happens to the spine in scoliosis. Scoliosis often develops during the growth spurt that occurs just before puberty. This is a time when bones are growing rapidly. Imagine a young tree shooting upwards, its trunk sometimes bending slightly as it reaches for the sky. The good news is that most cases of scoliosis are mild. However, some curves can get worse as a child grows. Severe cases of scoliosis can be painful. They can even make it hard to breathe. That's why it's important to catch scoliosis early. Scoliosis is a bit like a mystery. In most cases, we don't know what causes it gap. This is called idiopathic scoliosis. It's like the spine deciding to take a detour for no apparent reason. Sometimes scoliosis is present at birth. This is called congenital scoliosis. It happens when the bones in the spine don't form properly. Imagine a bridge being built with some bricks slightly out of place. It's a structural issue from the start. Neuromuscular scoliosis is another type. It's caused by problems with the muscles or nerves that support the spine. Think of it like a puppet whose strings aren't working properly, causing the puppet to slump. Lastly, there's degenerative scoliosis. This type develops later in life. It's caused by wear and tear on the spine. Imagine a chair that's been used for many years. Over time, the back might start to sag. Surgery is usually the last resort for scoliosis. It's reserved for severe curves that are causing problems or likely to worsen. Spinal fusion is the most common type of surgery for scoliosis. Imagine two pieces of metal being welded together. In spinal fusion, surgeons connect two or more vertebrae in the spine. This straightens the curve and prevents it from getting worse. Rods, hooks, screws or wires are used to hold the spine in place until the bones fuse together. Spinal fusion surgery is a big decision. It involves risks and a long recovery period. But for some people with severe scoliosis, it can be life-changing. It can relieve pain, improve breathing and boost self-esteem. Physiotherapy plays a vital role in managing scoliosis. It can't cure the condition, but it can help control its progression, reduce pain and improve posture. Think of it like training a young sapling to grow straighter. Physiotherapists use a variety of techniques to manage scoliosis. Postural education helps patients become more aware of their posture and learn to correct it. Imagine having a personal trainer for your spine, reminding you to stand tall. Exercises are a key part of physiotherapy for scoliosis. These exercises are designed to strengthen the muscles that support the spine, improve flexibility and promote better alignment. It's like giving your spine a workout to make it stronger. The Schroth Method is a specialized exercise program for scoliosis. It involves specific breathing techniques and exercises tailored to the individual's curve pattern. It's like a customized workout routine for your spine. Manual therapy, such as massage and mobilization, can help relieve muscle tension and improve spinal mobility. It's like giving your spine a relaxing massage to ease any tightness. Bracing is another option for some patients with scoliosis. Braces are worn to help prevent curves from worsening. Think of it like a support beam for a building, providing extra support. Living with scoliosis can be challenging, but it doesn't have to rule your life. Recovery from surgery can take several months. During this time, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions, attend physiotherapy, and gradually increase your activity levels. While we can't always prevent scoliosis, there are things we can do to promote good spinal health. Maintaining a healthy weight, exercising regularly, and practicing good posture can all help. Imagine giving your spine the best possible environment to thrive. Remember, early detection is key. If you notice any signs of scoliosis, such as uneven shoulders or hips, consult your doctor. Physiotherapy can play a significant role in managing scoliosis and improving your quality of life. Don't let a curved spine hold you back from living your life to the fullest. If you enjoyed watching this video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, Physio Healthcare, for more healthy tips and advice. See you in the next video.